Hello friends, welcome to Joy of Life. So today we are going to look at another medium level problem from lead code. The problem number is 103. So it's binary tree zigzag level order traversal. So yesterday uh, we have seen a, a similar kind of problem wherein we didn't have the word called zigzag. So it's, it was just a binary tra uh, tree level order traversal, right? So let's see what is this and um, how this can be done. Uh, like how is it different from the other one? So the description says, given the root of a binary tree, return the zigzag level order traversal of its nodes values from left to right, then right to left for the next level and alternate. So basically what we have to do is we have to go from left to right and then right to left. And it should toggle between the levels, right? So basically you can, uh, what we can say is considering the, is if this is level zero, this is level one, this is level two. So, uh, if you can see that for this level, we are doing a right to left, right? So, this one right to left, we can say that this are for all the odd levels and this is for all the even levels, right? So, that is the problem all about, that we have to do the similar kind of traversal like yesterday. But uh, if you remember, uh, there we have been doing only left to right and here we are doing a zigzag. So, this one is from... Um, uh, left to right this one is from right to left and this one is again from left to right and so on so here you'll see the answer is 3 and then it will be not 9 and 20 but 20 and 9 right you can see over here and then we have 15 and 7 and this one is again left to right so uh, as I always say do give it a try yourself so try to see if you can reuse something from the yesterday's example and come up with the solution or not and um, then you can check out my solution but just a hint that yesterday we have used a queue that queue is probably not going to help just try out and see what else can help you out over here okay so over to the board and let's see the solution before looking at the solution let's understand what should happen over here so this this guy at level 0 should go from left to right this guy should go from right to left this guy should go from left to right and this guy should go from right to left right this is what should happen ideally so we'll have answer one for this level then this is right to left so we'll have a three and a two then we have a left to right so four five six seven and then we have again right to left so it will be 15 14 9 8 Right? So this is how it should be. So let's understand what is the problem in the yesterday's queue approach. So let's take a queue and let's try to see what, what is wrong over here and how, how it's a problem for us. So let's say I take a queue over here. So let's say this is my queue. So what we used to do is put the root and uh, then we get the size and then we pop out and then add the children's back. So, so you can see that putting a two and three does not help. It should be three and two, right? So you can probably argue with me that what if I, I check the level and then I decide that I put the left first and then the right, right? So in this case, what they'll be doing ideally is they'll be putting the right first. So he'll be putting three first and then two, not like this, right? So let's see and understand what's the problem here. So for level one, we got a one. It's perfectly fine. So now comes the level two. So you pop out a three. So now at this level, so you pop out a three. So you will be adding the right. Uh, so what you'll be doing is you are uh, doing uh, for this level, right? So you'll go from left to right. So you'll be putting a six first and then a seven, right? So three goes to your next level. So you pop out three. You popped out three. Now you pop out a two. And then two, for two also, you'll put the left first and then the right. So you'll put out a four and you put out a five and you print three, two. So both this level, you got the correct answer as of now. Let's see how it um, how it unfolds. So now as soon as you try to take out, you get a six, right? So the level has expanded. You cannot do what you have been doing earlier, right? And you no more have the right answer. Four should come out for you, but four is somewhere at the third element of the queue, right? So this approach with the queue is not going to help right so since we are toggling over here we have to do do a different kind of approach in order to come up with the answer so let's understand how we can do it so since there are two checks that i need one is for odd one is for even so odd and even what i'll do is i will not use a queue anymore for this kind of problem now you have to understand that uh, once you have to start from left, then you have to start from right, right? You have to take a mixed approach in both the cases. So what I'll do is, so let's say I have taken odd and even. So instead of having uh, the queue, what I'll do is I'll take two stacks now. And we'll see how a stack is going to help us over here. So initially what I know is I am at level 
so let's maintain the level i am at level zero so zero i should consider it as a odd level and uh, as an even level and what i'll do is in the even stack i will put the head of it so i'll put one inside it and now i will what i'll do i'll put down the algorithm over here the first step would be put the root of the tree in the event stack right so these are my stack and what we know about a stack is the element that goes in la last comes out first right it's a lifo data structure right so let's understand now what we have done is we have put the root of the tree inside the event stack because zero is not odd i'm considering it the event so i'm putting it there okay now what i'll do is i know that uh, i have to check for the levels so what i'll do is i will take a level and uh, i'll initialize it to zero because i am at the zero at level so if this is the tree i'll say this is my zero at level so let's say this is uh, my uh, different level so i have uh, four levels starting from zero to three okay so what i'll be doing is now i will be iterating until both of my stacks are not empty so now inside what do we need to do there are two checks that are necessary right so if level is even and the subsequent else part if the level is not even and so i'll start iterating iterate until even stack empty let's name this so let's say this is my o stack i'll call this and this i'll call it e stack let me get this uh, get rid of this else and uh, we will take care of it down the line so what we'll be doing basically over here is we are going to get the element from the stack so from e stack we are going to pop things out so we will take out all the elements present in the stack and what we are going to do is we are going to add to the odd stack what is important over here is the order of adding so do keep in mind that when we are adding for the odd level so uh, let let me put it down over here this is even and this is odd right but we are putting the right and then the left right so here of course if you have to get the right element first and then the left element we have to put it in the reverse order right what you basically did is you are putting the left first and you are getting the right, and putting the right so when you are popping out you get the right first so we can ensure that the right will come out first so you can see that how we have removed one from the stack and what we have done is we have added the child of one in the reverse order so what we have added first is a two and then a three so it's fine now so what we are going to do at the end is we are going to increment the level what will happen basically because of this is next time this condition won't be satisfied right the condition if level is even won't be satisfied so what will happen is we have to write another condition for it i am going to add a else over here so in the other case what we are going to do so in the other case very simply we are going to iterate so we'll be iterate un until the odd stack is empty and what we are going to do is we are going to get the elements out from the stack uh, just the same thing that we did so we'll do a el element pop from the uh, o stack right so what was happened in the first level let's note it down over here we got a one right we just got a one so we are adhering to the answer as of now so now we started popping out from uh, this stack right and we have to add things back for the event stack right so we will be adding to the e adding for the e stack but this time what we'll do is we'll reverse the order that we have done here so this time left should come out first right and then the right so we'll be putting the right first followed by the left so what we are doing is we are putting right first and then the left right so when we take out we get the l first then the r right so we will end up getting this kind of pattern over here right so basically now 3 is removed from the stack right so we put the right first and then the left but we put it in this stack so we put the right for 3 so right for 3 is a 7 and then the left which is a 6 so you are seeing that how we are coming from this edge now right then again iterate till the stack is empty the stack is not empty the stack odd stack has one more element which is a 2 we take out 2 and we add the right and the left so we add 5 and 4 over here so 5 and 4 gets added right and this element from here is popped out right 
and we increment the level so our level it we already done for level 1 now we came to level 2 so again this condition will be met and we'll start emptying our even stack this one right and as we take things out so for this level also we have got 3 and 2 right so let me put that 3 and 2 over here so i start popping things out so i get a uh, i uh, take things out so i get a 4 first so let me put this 4 over here so the four comes and sit here and what we do is we add fours uh, left and then right fours left is eight and the right is nine so we put eight and nine inside this stack over here right then we pop out again we get a five we put the five over here and five again we'll put the left and the right so we'll put 10 and 11 right so we'll put 10 and 11 my stack is going to overflow so uh, i'll just put it by the side okay so i this is still not empty i get the six out of the stack and then add its uh, left and the right so let me put 11 over here 11 is done so 12 and 13 gets added and then it's still not empty i pop out the seven so i get the seven over here and seven is left and right i add 14 and 15 and I increment the level to 3 so this time it will go over here and it will add to the stack for the statement uh, adding to the stack has to be followed by a null check right you are not going to add a null like that so now what will happen is the level will increment and we are going to come out of this loop and we are going to pop things from the odd stack so if I pop there is nothing to add now because they are all leaf nodes as you can see over here but just see when I pop it out I get them in a reverse order 15 14 13 12 so this will be popped like this 11 10 9 and 8 so everything will be popped in this order and you see that the answer is perfectly matching of what we wanted so this is how the entire algorithm goes so basically what we are doing is we are just toggling we are toggling over here between each of the levels and that's what we are going to do in the code as well so let's move over to the code and implement the solution that we have over here yeah so just like uh, uh, they have mentioned what we need is a list of list of integers like um, yesterday's problem so we'll be creating this um, return type first let's call it our result and uh, this will be nothing but an array list and we are going to return this result at the end and also we are going to do nothing if the root is null and we are going to return this result right away because there is nothing to process we are going to send back an empty array list right and uh, in the other case what we need is a stack and uh, the track uh, and it should hold my tree nodes so let's call it the same name that we have used e stack uh, the next one being o stack though i am not a very big fan of underscore uh, variable naming just to keep it consistent with what we did i am doing it so now what we'll do first is in the e stack we'll be put, putting our head right the head of the tree and now we are going to start a loop and we will be iterating until both the stacks are not empty so both the stack has to be empty in order to say that i'm not going to iterate anymore if there is any data present in either of the stack what i'm going to do is i'm going to terminate right and inside this what i'll be doing is i have to collect uh, i need a list to collect the result right so i'll be creating a integer list over here and let's call it list and let it be an array list so where i'll be collecting the result for this level and at the end we are going to add this back and uh, also one thing that i forgot over here we also need a level indicator which will be initially at zero right so we are going to check uh, it's an odd level or even so the best way to check is to do a mod with two so what we are going to do is in this case when we are at uh, at, at an even level right so what is happening is we are going to iterate until the the even stack is empty so while i'll say e stack is not empty i'm going to pop things out of it right so we are going to continuously do a pop on the even stack and we are going to get the elements out and what we'll be doing is we'll be first adding them to the level so we'll put the node dot val inside it now the next part comes is we have to check that if we have a left or not so if node dot left not equals to none null what we are going to do is so basically here what we'll do is we will put left first and then right right so that when we take out we get the right first followed by the left right so and we are going to do all this thing inside the if uh, inside the odd stack right we're taking from one stack 
getting the elements and putting all its child in the right order in the next stack right so that's what we are doing so let me put uh, node dot left and similarly uh, we are going to do the same thing for the right as well so let me update this values to right so uh, that is all that we are going to do for uh, this level right but if it is not what we are going to do is we are going to do the exactly same thing almost exactly i should say because we will change the order in the o stack so what we'll be doing is uh, first this condition remains the same we are going to iterate until the stack is empty and we are going to do the same thing we are going to pop elements out right but we are going to do it from the event stack not from the odd stack the uh, again we are going to add to the list as well and uh, we'll um, have the same statement now this this condition over here is going to dif di differ now so first i will check for the right and add the right to the event stack so we'll put e stack dot add and we'll put so first we'll be putting the right and then i'm going to copy paste this and uh, change this to the left so again uh, the order matters over here so keep in mind that you put it in the right order and also put the right spelling <laughs> and so yeah the, that is it and uh, at the end when you come out of this you are going to put inside the result dot add you have created a list so you put this list over here and also you have to increment the level otherwise it will keep going inside the same loop so let's run and see how it goes so yeah it's been accepted let's do a submit and check for a broader range of test cases yep we are good and we got a pretty decent uh, result as well so though the problem as you see that it looks very similar to what we have uh, discussed yesterday just a word different but the actual implementation changes right the underlying data structure and everything that we used is completely different in this case we have to take a different route altogether in order to come up with the exact solution so when you are doing a zigzag or where you have to change the order so in the previous problem we know it was always from left to right left to right left to right but when you have to do a left to right and right to left and left to right or conditionally do it you have to always take help help of multiple data structures right coming to the complexity part so the, both the run runtime complexity and the space complexity what i'll say the in the worst case what it will be is order of n so this is basically means you are touching all the nodes that's present over here because we have been uh, touching all the nodes so uh, where n is the uh, number of nodes and for uh, space it will be order of 2 to the power of m right where m is the maximum depth of the tree so if you if you take this example right over here this tree over here so the depth was 3 right and uh, so we are saying 2 to the power of 3 so that means 2 into 2 into 2 so how much it is it's 8 right so at max you see that we have stored 8 nodes is the maximum nodes that we have stored and those nodes are nothing but the, on our last iteration we have stored all these elements right so i hope you got the solution if you wanted to check the earlier video on uh, normal level order traversal then um, the link will be in the description where i have just done a normal level order traversal that will be of um, uh, good help uh, and uh, i hope uh, you like the solution you got the intent why we are maintaining two data structures over here though we maintain two data structure but our uh, th there will be no hit on your um, runtime or your space complexity it's going to be the same as the previous problem so uh, yeah do let me know in the comments what do you think about this video do share and subscribe if you haven't done so it's a good feeling that uh, we reached 150 subscriber it feels really great do let me know if you have any particular topic you want me to create videos for or any problem from any platform or any offline problem do let me know i'll be definitely giving my best shot in creating a video similar to the one at the back uh, and uh, try to help you uh, understand the problem in lot more details and uh, yeah that is all from this video uh, so see you soon again bye bye take care and, and be safe from covid the cases are rising again so happy coding it's the perfect time to sit back at home and do some coding right bye bye